hi welcome to the next training session of SAP FIC module today's topic for training is reconciliation ledger in this part we'll be going through the introduction to reconciliation ledger and the configuration steps reconciliation ledger the main purpose of reconciliation accounts is to compare the balances of controlling and financial accounting in account wise. It provides reports with which you can monitor the CO and FI reconciliation for each account. In case of cross company code cost accounting the reconciliation ledger used to report the balances posted across the company codes, across business area and functional area wise. Reconciliation ledger helps to reconcile the transactions among various company codes following cross company code cost accounting. So, one of the more important area of CO configuration is the development of the reconciliation ledger. Among its many use, uses is the ability to keep activity within the FIGL in the balance with the CO module. The reconciliation ledger tracks all activity within the CO module at a a summarized level to be used for reporting and reconciliation purposes. Activities that occur in CO can be reported by cost object class or object type. The object class can be overhead cost, investments, production or profit and sales. Whereas the object types can be cost center, order, cost object, network, reconciliation object, sales document, item and all. So it is un important to understand how each classification can be used. Object types are used within the various CO information systems to report summary and line item activity. The object types cost center, cost object, reconciliation object and sales document item all have fixed class assignment that cannot be varied. There are a few rules to keep in mind relating to the cost type and cost ob sorry object type and object classes. Object type cost center will always be associated with the object class overhead cost whereas object type cost object will always be associated with object class production. Reconciliation object will always be associated with profit and sales. Object type sales document will always be associated with productions. So like the object type, the object class is also used for reconciliation ledger reporting. The need to have a CO to FI reconciliation process is a result of cross company code, cross business area or cross functional area activity that may occur in the controlling module. When costs are moved internally within the controlling, the FIGL is not updated because of the controlling's use of secondary cost elements to facilitate the postings internally. Now moving on to the configuration steps 
that we will be looking for there are three configuration steps which have been involved on your screen so the first two configuration step in the reconciliation ledger configuration are to activate the ledger within the controlling area and assigning a document type if you have an existing controlling area that does not have a reconciliation ledger activated then we have to follow these configuration steps and for newly created controlling area the reconciliation ledger is automatically activated in the SAP system so moving on to the very first configuration step that is activate deactivate reconciliation ledger now the path is there on your screen for reaching out to activate reconciliation ledger and there are the transaction code as well in the screen now we'll be will move to activate the reconciliation ledger through the help of the path so we'll move over here with the transaction spro enter then we need to go to sap reference img now in this we need to go to controlling expand and in this we would be going to cost element accounting so there is cost element accounting we need to expand cost element accounting and in that we can find the reconciliation ledger so we can expand the reconciliation ledger and in the first part you can see now that activate deactivate reconciliation ledger so we'll expand this particular part so once we execute this step over here let's execute it so i just clicked on that that watch symbol and it got active uh, it came up with a new screen and it asks you to activate reconciliation ledger or to deactivate so right now we have already created a controlling area and it is new for the company code so what we will be doing is we will be activating the reconciliation ledger so to activate we need to go to activate reconciliation ledger double click on to the activate part so once I double click it took me to the next screen now in this you can see that there are two fields basically one is controlling area and the next is the document type so controlling area you have to assign your controlling area that you have created for your own company code that is for me I have created is Z100 so I would be taking that and in the document type you have to enter the document type with which you want all the reconciliation postings to be marked into the system it may be helpful for analysis purposes to have a document type to provide reconciliation postings with their own document type so the document type generally which is taken is SA you can go and look after to the list of all the different document types so you can see the list of document type is there it's the same which we have used in the SAP FI module so the one which we would be taking is SA that is GL account document for the reconciliation purpose so I have selected this document type now on the screen so once we have selected the controlling area and in the controlling area the document type which will be used is SA and now we can execute the ops so once we have executed the system gives a warning message new general ledger accounting is active now you can enter on the screen and once I enter okay that means that the company code the reconciliation option is already activated because in the new GL accounts in the new GL the system already have these settings assigned to it so what we can now do next is it's already been activated into the system so this is how you need to activate in case the reconciliation ledger is not activated so for newly created controlling area as we have created newly just a couple of training sessions back the reconciliation ledger will have 
been automatically activated but a document type will not yet be maintained so as in the system now we are on the on the advanced part of the SAP version so the reconciliation option is already automatically activated into the system but we need to assign the document type to it so the another way out to assign the document type because from over here at this option we can only activate it so to assign the document type because the reconciliation ledger is already activated we need to go to the controlling area as we went to the controlling area with the very first configuration step so to move with that the path is we need to go to the general accounting general accounting then we need to go to the organization and in that we need to go to this controlling area so in this we can double click on maintain controlling area and in this we can search our own controlling area with the position that is we can find it Z100 enter and now once you got this we need to double click onto this controlling area so once I double click I can see on the screen over here that reconciliation ledger is active as the message been displayed to you we just need to assign the document type at this part over here where we have created the controlling area in the very first configuration step so here I would be assigning the document type that is SA and now I can save the screen and this document type will be assigned for the reconciliation ledger between the FI and the CO so the assignment of reconciliation document type to the to the controlling area will complete the controlling area and the basic data settings so this is about the first configuration step where we activate and deactivate reconciliation ledger but mind it whenever now onwards you create any controlling area in that the reconciliation ledger is by default active into the system so what you need to do is you just need to go and assign the document type to it so that the internal document postings in controlling can be done with the document type or even if there is any kind of a reconciliations to be done from the FA module to the CO module that can be done with the help of the document type SA now moving on to the next configuration step define adjustment accounts for reconciliation posting so in this part we will be assigning the clearing account so as to have the reconciliation between the FI and the CO module so the reconciliation ledger requires at least one clearing account to post one intercompany clearing balance seat account and one reconciliation expense account during the CO to FI reconciliation process the intercompany clearing accounts will be automatically credited and debited with the assignment of this particular adjustment account keep in mind that the account must be represented in the FI profit and loss account or the account must be assigned must be from the profit and loss GL account for the operating activity to be properly reported so here we would be assigning the GL account so as to have a reconciliation for reconciliation purpose between the FI and the CO even more than one reconciliation account can even be assigned depending upon the requirement and as per that can proceed and can assign more than one GL account as well so let's see how we can do that the again we will move with the path so we can move back over here to the SPRO path so we can close this pop-up screen and now we can again move back to this cost element accounting and in cost element accounting we are here with the reconciliation ledger 
So in the very second step, we can see that define adjustment account for reconciliation posting. So once we move over here, now for this we need to create a GL account for FICO reconciliation as well. So what I will do is first I will create a GL in a new session slash o fs00 enter so in this what I will be doing is I will be creating a new GL which relates to the profit and loss account so I will be creating a GL 400010 which is which does not exist as of now into the system so this will be used this particular GL will be used as a clearing account between the FI and the CO for reconciliation purpose. So I can go and I can create this particular GL now. So as I created it, now I need to select expense, profit and loss account and then I can put the detail that is reconciliation posting FI CO. So this is what I would be taking over here on the screen. As on the on your screen now. Then in the control data we just need to select the line item display. And in the field status group now we will be selecting let's see from the list of the field status group. So in this we need to select this particular G011 as a clearing account. So this clearing account we are, sub we are supposed to select in this particular part for the reconciliation purpose. So once we have created this now we can save the screen and the GL account has been created as we can see. So the GL created is 400010. So now we can move up to this particular step and we can execute the configuration step define adjustment accounts for reconciliation posting. So executing this particular step. Now it takes you to the next screen where there are couple of options in it. So in these so many options we need to go to the third option that is maintain clearing account for business area or functional areas. So once I click on to this third step maintain clearing account for business area or functional area. So we can see it asks you for the first for the chart of account. So we can put the chart of account for the company code that is 1000. Enter. So you must remember that the settings for the reconciliation adjustment accounts are maintained at the chart of account level and they are the controlling area is independent in this part. So here we need to select the account but as of now you can see that there is no rule indicators have been set. So the default rule for one account setting is active. If only one adjustment account is desired for all the reconciliation activities. Enter the account as on the screen. So we'll assign the account on over here on the screen. We can select the GL with the list of the GL. The reconciliation GL which we just created. So we can move on the screen. The last one you can see reconciliation posting FICO. Double click on it and it has been selected. And once this has been selected we can go and we can save this screen. So you can see that as we click on to the save now it asks you to save it in the request so we can continue it. So the changes have been made. But in case now if you move back if you want to assign the GL in more than one account in that case we need to go to the define accounts for 
automatic posting part. So once we double click onto the automatic part over here, we have to define the rules. So that is what we is not needed as this point of time. We'll be just assigning one GL for the for the reconciliation purpose. So each of these different part has got their different purposes. So this is the if the same GL has to be assigned to two different company codes for that, we need to assign this maintain trading account for company codes. Whereas creating adjustment account can be done over here with this. So over here we have created this GL which uh, can be created with option over here as well. So this is how the options works. So let's another scenario that uh, now over here we have checked with that we need only one reconciliation account in that case this steps can be can be executed but in case the company wants to have different clearing account for different reconciliation purposes in that case we need to go to this option that is define accounts for automatic posting so once I click on to the last option you can see the screen on your on your particular screen now so in this we need to go to change account determination if we want to have the different rules as well as the different GL. So if you go to this option, change account determination, you will find the number of options over here. So what we need to do is the last configuration where we assigned the GL, there was no rules. There were default rules was assigned. But in this case now you can see that there is a new option over here as to define the rules. So if you want, you can define your own rules. So you can click onto the rules and you can see there are three options on the screen to you. So any one of the rule rules indicators can be set individually or in combination with any of the others. In the following descriptions of the settings, levels refers to the amount of details associated with an account assignment rule. So how we can move on is we can select the CO transaction over here. So as to have a reconciliation of FI with the CO transaction and then we can move and we can click on to this accounts. So as we click on to this accounts over here, it asks you that do you want to save the data first? Yes. And you will see now again we need to go and you have to click on to the yes. And as you click on to the yes, the request, the customization will be saved to this request. And you can see now on the screen that it gives you different options with different account options in, on this screen. So now in this case, you can assign a couple of more or multiple GL accounts for the clearing account as a reconciliation purpose between FI and CO. Or even if you want, you can have the same GL can be assigned number of times. But if you want to use the same GL, in that case, better part is to is to do the last customization where one particular GL could have been assigned. So in this, you need to select various CO transactions with the F4 options. You can see there are number of different CO transactions. So out of that, you can select which one you you need. Like I need actual cost center accrual. So that can be taken up over here accordingly what are the different transactions are needed. So the next I could take is uh, actual settlement that should be reconciled. Never take any of the planned part. Always take the actual one because reconciliation is always done for the actual transactions not for the plan values. So you can take all these different actual settlements from over here on the screen and accordingly you can assign different GL on the screen over here. But right now I, am, I will be taking the same GL but you could have different number of GLs assigned to these different transactions as per your requirement. So once you make the adjustment account settings you should think through the changes until you make postings with these settings you can change them so whatever the changes you want to do in these 
in these account assignments you can do it before making any transactions in them but once the transactions are done any activity has occurred in this any of these GLs then you cannot make any changes and all the prior account assignments are lost forever so you will lose all the options of changing the customizations once any of the activities or transactions will take place in any of these different transactions or the GL account so now we can move on and we can save this screen okay so this changes have been done now we can move back so these are the two important configuration steps which we have done in the system and the now moving on to the third part is specify document number range for reconciliation posting so at as every or you can say as with every activity in this CO module a number range must be assigned to the reconciliation postings the number range assignment is at the controlling area level so there are two methods to assign a number range interval one is to create your own or the another one is to copy an existing range from an existing controlling area the recommend the recommended approach is to copy from an existing controlling area if one is available and in SAP there is always a standard SAP provided controlling area that is 0001 so we can copy all the number range from that so let's move on to the next configuration step we can close this tab and now we can see the next part is specify document number for reconciliation posting so we can move on and we can execute this particular step and once we execute we need to assign the controlling area so once we have assigned the controlling area now we can go to this option on your header over here copy so we can click on to copy over here and then we can copy from so in the from part we can assign 0001 and in the to part we can take our own controlling area that is Z100 and then we can click on to this option over here copy or we can enter on the screen as well so once I click on to the copy the message is generated we can continue that and you can see now the CO area 0001 was copied to Z100 so this is your number range which has been assigned and now we are done with the the configuration part the three configuration the simple configurations were there in it so the reconciliation ledger configuration is finished the system is now capable of successfully running the CO FI reconciliation transactions so that is it in the reconciliation part we'll see you in the next training session with a new topic till then take care thank you